who wants to lead off. Well, I, I don't think um, past success or failure is going is to impact this football game. It never has. I don't think it ever will. Um, a lot of respect for them, their team, their organization, their coaching staff. Um, you know, they seem to always be very consistent. Um, and we have had some, some good, you know, battles against them since I've you know, been in Tennessee. Um, you know, and I think the emphasis for us is just – you know, being able to put the, the Colts game behind us and, uh, you know, get back to work. And I felt like we did that. And, um, you know, coming over here will be a great opportunity to, to try to get back to three and three uh, heading into the bye. I think that's where the emphasis has been, you know, trying to get back to, to that point and, and then see what happens. How do the coaches race and do some one-on-ones? Is that something you came up with to, for early in the week and a week you thought that the team might need some, some juice? Uh, just trying to find ways just to, uh, you know, again, it just was a different schedule and, you know, g- give those guys an opportunity to, to, to have some fun and, and let the players, uh, you know, enjoy it. And uh, you know, I think it, nobody got hurt. That's the only good thing that came out of it. You think it was the best catch of Luke's life? Certainly was a very good one. Survived the ground, got uh, body part in and, uh, the guys enjoyed it. It showed them again this morning, uh, part of Friday tape, and uh, it, it certainly got the biggest uh, ovation. Yeah, I thought really, really well. Appreciate our ops staff, um, how smoothly everything ran, uh, our ability to, to, to get in here early, to, to have breakfast ready and um, meetings and, and everything ready to go. I thought that there was a little lull at the beginning of practice, which is probably – was expected, and then after we started stretching and, and moving around a little bit, I thought it was exactly what we needed, um, and, and our players responded, and, and I thought we had a good day. How much? What is it? Well, I mean, I don't, you know, I don't think we were less prepared last time. We just didn't convert a two-point conversion. Um, and I don't even know how many guys were even on that team that are here now. There can't be too many. I'd say probably less than 10. Five. There you go. Thanks, Paul. Um, so, uh, you know, I mean, just to that point, you know, there's so many new players. Um, but, but I think that they, again, just the way that they, we traveled, the way that we prepared, uh, the work that we got in here today, and, uh, and hopefully we'll, we'll be ready to go, you know, tomorrow through our meetings and then Sunday at, at 2.30. Um, I, I don't, you know, I don't think coaches sleep much. So if you get three or four hours on the plane, that's probably about what you normally get. Um, you know, I think everything was was pretty much planned out. You know, I think that the, you know, we'll try to get them through here today and, and go to bed at a normal time and, and and be on schedule. That's kind of what we did last time. Well, the one thing that I've always said is we're never going to be able to eliminate distractions. It's just how we handle them. So instead of, uh, you know, for example, that they go to the city on their own, we provide buses, we provide, you know, security, want them to go experience it, but make it somewhat organized, right? Have a four o'clock bus, have a five o'clock bus, uh, have people with them, have our security staff with them ask that they go in positions. Um, so some of those things, like we provide some of those things. Because if, you know, if you don't, then they, they're going to they're gonna go do and hang out and do things that people would normally do. Um, this is a Friday for us, so they're going to do the things that they would normally do on a Friday um, as they prepare for the football game. Yeah, I mean, we have to continue to work Tajay in there, and he has to have uh, touches because when he gets it and, and catches it or 
we hand it to him. Um, you know, he's been able to, to do some really good things with it. And, uh, you know, so we'll have to continue to you know, work both of those guys in and, and see how uh, that's going. Uh, but also know that, you know, Derek will continue to be, you know, a focal point of our offense. Uh, but, but Tajay is going to have to have opportunities as well. Um, no, I mean, I'll probably have dinner, you know I mean? I'll probably go have dinner somewhere and take Stretch and Jen and Frank out. These reporters say all they ever see at these practices is, is a stretch. Did you consider five minutes of football period to help sell things or is that not because it's out of your Friday routine? For, for the practice period, all they ever see are teams stretch. Did you consider an individual period or anything like that that people might see more? I had an individual period. I, I don't know. What are you, I mean, what, what are you asking me? Okay. Well, I mean, I don't know what to tell you. Like, I, I, I apologize, but, you know what I mean? Like, I, I didn't know that that was, you know, I'm sorry. Absolutely. So I think that that's probably one of the coolest things of coming over here um, was just the amount of different NFL jerseys and the, the, the people that choose to to wear the, the their favorite player's jersey and being in the stands and seeing other teams' jerseys than, than the opponent or ours. Um, I would say the same thing that I say to, to everybody, that, that we're going to try to put a product out there that, um, you know, plays hard, that cares about each other. Um, you know, and it has a semblance of, you know, coordination to them that, that we're not sitting there and, you know, we're not disjointed. And again, we, we, we're not going to win every game. We obviously strive to do that, but, you know, we always say that they'll cheer for you based on your effort uh, and, and playing hard and, and playing for each other and, and celebrating as a team. Those are all things that we try to do. Um, and, and we'll take as many fans as we, we possibly can get. But I, I do enjoy the just seeing everybody and the love for football that, that I've had since, uh, you know, as long as I can remember. Uh, and, and I'm glad that we can share that uh, with the fans over here. Coach, you only had his best game as a tight end last week against the Colts. Uh, and you praised him for being the go-to guy in particular. Mm -hmm. uh, just how much did you bring to this well, the, the instincts that he has, uh, his ability to adjust to the, the, the football, um, his body control, whether it's man or zone, um, his route craft, you know, things like that, being able to help the younger players. Um, you know, our conversations about him, you know, he may not need as much work as younger players. And so his practice, you know, he gets exactly what he needs to be ready for the football game. And, you know, when we've needed him, you know, he's come through for us. No, I, I don't because I'm, I'm not playing on it. Uh, but I do think that the most important thing for us is the, the health and safety of our players uh, and, and their family, you know, when we're always talking about that. So uh, that'll never, um, that'll always be at the forefront of my mind. Um, you know, we, we obviously think that, that all the surfaces that we, we play on are, you know, the injury rating in professional football at some point in time is going to be 100%. You play this game long enough, uh, you're, you're guaranteed to, to, to get injured. Uh, just from my own personal experience, if you, if you play this game that's violent, um, that, that you're going to get hurt sometime, you can't go into a game, you can't go into thinking or worrying about you know, having an injury. Um, I mean, you can count that one, I guess. I, you know, I think the one in Houston, um, no, it was in the Houston Super Bowl. I'm sorry. It was like 2003. I think it was against the Panthers in Houston, but my son, Tyler, who's 23 now was like 
three years old or whatever he was. I think he was three, and he got to be on the podium with me and Tom, and it was it was a cool deal. So just to be able to experience that with him, and he was in Sports Illustrated, and back when I could hold him. Who's that? Uh, Tier Tart. He'll be questionable. We we listed the guys that were out uh, that didn't make the trip. Burks, um, Molden, and Gifford, and we'll see here where where Tart ends up. Uh, he'll be questionable uh, as we uh, Simmons. I would anticipate no designation. Aaron Brewer. Uh, Brewer will list as questionable. All uh, those no designation. Whenever you tell us we're supposed to play, the Titans will be there, and I promise you we'll figure out a way to compete and uh, and be there on time. I'm going to assume that it's a hundred yards long that the end zones are both 10 yards deep and it's 53 and a third wide and the hash marks are, you know, six yards and, and one sixth. So I don't, I don't know what to tell you. No, I won't go over there until Sunday. It'll be huge. You know, we, we had a disappointing uh, day uh, against the run last week. Uh, it's a humbling league. Right, we sit there and look about. Well, it's been however many games since you allowed a hundred. You know, I mean, this is a humbling league, and uh, and if you sleep on it, uh, any player in this league um, can can make plays if if you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. So this week is is a great challenge. Is their fourth in the league in the rushing attempts, fourth in yards, um, and and Lamar plays a huge part of that. And and again, his his ability to extend plays, whether they're design runs. Or he sees a dirty pocket and he wants to get out of there, but you know, I just I just see a comfort in his ability in the pocket this year. It's just a calming presence. He kind of stands back there, you know, progresses and and delivers the football. So it, it'll be a huge challenge. Well, anything that we can do to to share uh, this game with with people that that want to uh, embrace it. I'm all for, and, and the ability to to share this game and grow this game. Uh, I've played in Mexico City, I've coached in Mexico City, I've played in Dublin, I've coached in London, so I've been a part of those as a player, and, and you know, I, I, I enjoy it, and I hope our players do too. Thank you. Ryan, how's the uh, body clock? How you feeling? How practice go today? Uh, practice was great. You know, guys uh, came out, you know, once we got moving a little bit, I felt like guys had great energy. We moved around well, uh, executed well. So, you know, I was happy with, with how practice went. I don't think the body clock's quite settled in yet. You know, still working on that. But, um, you know, it's been, uh, been a good start for us. Braves had the coaches involved in the races. And Luke Stocker made that catch the other day and stuff. How much uh, juice did that give you guys? Yeah, it was fun. You know, it was fun. Uh, you know, you always hear the coaches, you know, talking, right? They're always talking nonsense, especially the guys who, who've played before. And, um, you know, to see him try to go out there and actually back it up a little bit was a lot of fun. Uh, you have a guy like Luke, obviously played a long time and, and made a huge catch there in the end zone. You, know, you saw how we all reacted, right? It was, uh, it was a pretty exciting moment and uh, definitely brings a lot of juice to the practice. Hey, Ryan, this has been your first, second, or third time there in London. Uh, and your quote with your 10 teammates, uh, Big Ben is the best source of <laughs> Big Ben is the best source of time. Um, I wish I'd actually seen Big Ben. I don't think I've actually seen it in all my, my trips over here. Um, I, I really need to get out and, and go check it out, right? But uh, i got to come back when, I, when I'm not getting ready for a game. Um, I'd love to, to see a little bit more of what London has to offer. My wife and kids are, are exploring, and they're sending me pictures from Big Ben and, and all the hot spots you know, downtown. But um, you know, here to, uh, to win a game and trying to get you know, mentally and physically prepared to, uh, to do that. Enjoy it, right? Enjoy it. Do what you have to do to prepare yourself mentally and physically to uh, to win the game. Uh, but if you have some time and, and want to go check some things out, and, and that fits, 
with what you're doing and getting ready to, to win, then you know, go enjoy it. There's, there's a, lot of, a lot of fun things to see. Uh, I always enjoy experiencing different cultures, right? Um, you know, being out of the country, you know, whether it's here or, or some other place. You know, the more culture you can see, the more uh, different ways of life that you can, uh, can see. You learn a lot, and uh, it's always fun to, fun to see. So you know, try to tell the guys, first and foremost, get ready to, uh, to win the game. Do what you have to do to get ready to win the game. But also enjoy the experience because it's a great experience. There's a lot of buzz. There's a lot of energy around the game, and uh, soak that up. Yeah, you just kind of have to, to, to deal with it, right? Uh, I don't think there's uh, any magic, magic trick or anything that you can do to, uh, to snap into uh, a different time zone, especially this big of a gap. Um, but, you know, came, came across last night on the flight, tried to get as much sleep as we could on the flight, hit the ground running today, um, stay awake throughout the day, and just try to, you know, reset the clock tonight by getting a good night's rest, you know, heading into uh, Saturday and then the game. So um, it's not an, an easy process, but I, I do think if you do those things, then you give yourself a chance. To, uh, to feel good going into Sunday? I don't know. I don't know. I, I feel like, you know, we've, uh, I've done this trip this same way, you know, several times now. So um, it's the only way I know. And, and I think uh, just based on how we responded today, the energy we had, the practice that we had going out of practice, um, executing the way we did, that we're, we're going to be in a good position to go play good football and win on Sunday. Yeah, I love uh, I love getting Titans fans all over the world, and it's always fun uh, when I travel and, and see somebody in, in some Titans gear, uh, whether you know it's here or other places in Europe. Um, I've been in Mexico and seen Titans Titans uh, gear, so uh, anytime I see Titans gear across the the globe, uh, it's fun, and I think it's great for the game um, to to have a team and support, even though you may not be in, in the same location or same country. Um, you know, having that support from around the globe feels great as a, as a player. Uh, we love that and uh, look forward to seeing more Titans fans in Germany. Do you think you're at who won the ticket giveaway yet? Do what? Do you think you're at who won your ticket giveaway? Yeah, yeah, we did. You know, got, uh, got a, uh, a mom and a son here in, uh, in London and so uh, excited to, uh, to be able to get them tickets to the game. What, 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 what put them over the edge, Do what? What put them over the edge for the tickets? Oh, it was really hard. Uh, honestly, it was really, really hard. Got a bunch of great... Um, Picks and, and I don't know if you call them entries, I don't know, for a giveaway. But um, yeah, it was really hard, you know, scrolling through, you know, seeing all the different people, the, the Titan supporters uh, that, that answered in. It was really a lot of fun. All the people that are, are here from the States for the game, and then a lot of, you know, native um, British people that, that are uh, supporting the Titans as well. So uh, really hard, but, you know, felt like we made a, uh, made a good choice and excited to, to bring them to the game. Ryan, what's it like having Derek Henry? Yeah, no question. They, they can uh, really open up things for each other. Obviously, very talented players, each of them in their own right. You know, Derek, come on, Paul. Come on, man. Uh, you know, both, both guys can uh, bring something to the table, right? Derek's physical. He's tough. Uh, he brings that tough running style. And when the running game is, is uh, doing well, then it opens up things in the back end for receivers and, and vice versa. So, uh, you know, having both guys that can make plays, uh, on, on opposite ends is going to be huge for us, you know, especially this week. Yeah, we got to get our playmakers involved. You know, not only Derek and Dehop, but the other guys you mentioned as well. We have a lot of guys that are talented with the balls and with the ball in their hand, and um, can make big plays for us. So the more we can can get more than one person involved and spread the ball around then uh, it's going to create problems for the defense. Uh, it all kind of works together, right? Got to have some protection. You know, that's where it starts. You know, have some protection. Uh, receivers have to, to get to their spots and win quickly. And then as a quarterback, got to get the ball out, you know? So uh, those, those three things kind of work together um, independently. Then, you know, if one of them's off, you know, the other two could be right on, but the one of them's off, then you know, it could have, a, it could have a negative play. So all three of those things kind of have to work together in order to be able to be efficient in the pass game and get the ball up. Yeah, 
Yeah, I love coming over here. It's a, it's a whirlwind for us, right? You know, especially coming over late in the week, but it's a lot of fun. There's an energy uh, around the game. There's a buzz, you know, in the stadium. Um, it's a great atmosphere, right? It's different. It's different atmosphere than we're used to experiencing back home, you know, with a, a true home and a, and a true away uh, stadium and, and fan base. But uh, the energy throughout the, the, the game, you can feel it. Uh, you know, the celebration of good plays, you know, both sides of the ball, you know, people are going to celebrate and, and enjoy good football and good plays on, on both sides. So uh, it's a fun atmosphere, and uh, I really look forward to, uh, to playing it. Oh, it's a huge honor. It's a huge honor. You know, um, it's not something that I uh, ever really thought about. You know, as a kid, you know, I wanted to. It was always a goal to play in the NFL, but didn't really think about that aspect of it. And then when I first started seeing people, and especially kids, wearing my jersey, uh, it really just hits home and, and makes you thankful for uh, for the opportunity to go out there and, and thankful for people supporting you and cheering you on. Um, well, you know, back home, it's, it's true home in a way, right? So situationally, uh, the crowd is going to vary in, in decibels and in, in how loud they are, you know, depending on the situation. Uh, it's not quite the same, you know, playing here, but that, that energy is still there. That buzz is still there. So uh, it's a little bit different, like I said, but it's still a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, more Titans fans is never going to be a bad thing, right? So uh, hopefully we can make a lot of plays and, and um, you know, win the game. And, and anybody who's on the fence can jump on board and, and become a Titans fan. Yeah, Nick's been awesome, man. He uh, came in in, uh, in training camp, uh, got a locker right next to me, so I, I spent a lot of time uh, talking with Nick a lot. Obviously, you know, been playing the game a long time, played at a high level, and done really well throughout his whole career. So uh, thankful to have a guy with his uh, capabilities and, um, you know, you mentioned long kicks, right, 40-plus yard kicks, um, being able to, to make those when, when things aren't maybe perfect on offense and you do have to, to trot him out there. Uh, feeling really confident that he's going to bang it through and, and get you three points, you know, gives you a lot of confidence that uh, that if you, you're not perfect on offense, that he's going to make up for it. Got time for one last question, Ryan. What do you remember from uh, your experience in, in uh, prior London games in terms of the energy level, like on game day, and how is that different from game day in the states? Like, are you drinking more coffees or are you coffee? Like, what, what is that like? I don't remember that. I mean, there's always an excitement and a buzz, right? Going into the game, your adrenaline's going. Um, so I, I don't change up my, my routine drastically. I don't remember changing up my routine. I don't plan to this, this trip as well. Um, just that, that energy and that excitement to go play the game for me is there, you know, even if your, your body clock's a little off, right? So I'm excited to, uh, to get out there and go play no matter what time it is. Thanks, Brian.